Hey YouTube, it's me Kirby and you're watching another episode of Kirby Q and happy Independence Day to you all. And I hope you're getting out on your grill and smoker today and I hope you're watching this video for some ideas on what to cook. So I'm going to be doing steak and steak and baked potatoes. I'm going to have my brother and my best friend over to um, celebrate the occasion. And of course, Joanne <laughs> to celebrate the occasion. So, um, hey, New York strip steak, uh, a nice big baked potato with, um, we're going to, we may do it loaded. I'll see how I'm feeling as we get to that point. And of course, some um, veggies and stuff. So, stick with me. Come along as I um, prep the baked potato. And I've already got the steak seasoned up. I did that off camera. Um, and, but I'll show, I'll show you what seasonings I used for this steak when I get to that point. All right, thanks for tuning in today. All right, first let's get started with my baked potato. Here I have four large Idaho um, potatoes, white potatoes that I've washed off, washed off and drained. And I've went around with a fork and just put some holes into um put some holes into to help get a nice crispy skin what I've created is a little brine so here's one cup of one cup of water with a half a cup I mean half a tablespoon of um, kosher salt and what this is going to do is to help the skin crisp up during the cooking process I'm just gonna give this a nice little twirl And I saw this on America's Test Kitchen and really liked it. This methodology, this uh, particular methodology for doing a baked potato. I just thought that a potato turned out really well this way. My next step, <clears throat> while you, you can either use cooking spray or some other type of oil, but what I have is some bacon fat. Everybody know this jar of bacon fat <laughs> that you have sitting around on the counter. And then I'm going to take, and I'm going to then paint each potato with. All right. Alright, and that is basically it for my baked potato. Now, you can either run this in the oven at 400 degrees for about an hour, but I'm going to be putting this on a 270 GS, and the temperatures in there is going to be, going to be close to 400 degrees. So I'm going to put these on the GS, but I'm going to set them to the side now, just so I can showcase you the steak. So hold, stay tuned while I get this uh, steak out. Okay, as I shared earlier, I had already pre-seasoned these off camera earlier, and my base coat was Cosmos Q's Texas Beef, followed by Dizzy Pig's Cowlick Steak Rub, and then a light coating of Malcolm Reed's Killer Hawk's Barbecue, uh, Hot Barbecue Rub. So these are set to go and ready to go on the um, 270GS also, but I'm gonna wait till the end of the baked, when the baked potatoes are just about ready, then I'm gonna go ahead and get these seared off and put on. All right, so that's my cook. Uh, I think I also do some asparagus today. Um, one of my friend asked for some um, bacon wrapped asparagus. I'll go ahead and show you my take on that. All right, what I have here is about 10 sprigs of asparagus and two thick slices of bacon. And pretty much most of you do this already. 
So I'm not telling you anything really new, but I'd just like to show you again my take on doing this. And I'm just gonna loop the bacon around like that and just begin to wrap it around. entire stock, the entire bundle, I'm sorry. And then what I try to do so the bacon doesn't come unravel, is tuck it under like so. And then I usually take a peppered um, barbecue seasoning. Hold on just a sec, I pulled out the wrong one. Okay, and as I shared, I usually take like a um, peppery um, barbecue seasoning. In this case, is gonna be Big Mo's big, um, Beef Rub. And just give it a little coating of that, all right? Now that's basically it. I'm gonna go ahead and do a, um, three more of those. My wife don't like asparagus. So I'm gonna cook her broccoli. And um, that'll be it. We'll get ready to get things on the GS. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put these potatoes on. We're gonna go indirect on the 270. I'm gonna put them on this uh, grate right here. Okay, and that's it. And like I said, it should take that about an hour at 300 degrees. I'm I don't I'm gonna assume that it's gonna be at least 300 to 400 degrees in here uh, with that hot bed of coals right there. So about an hour for the baked potatoes done. So about um, 10 minutes till I check and see how these feel, and if they're right, then we'll go ahead and get the asparagus and the steaks on. Okay. All right, stay tuned. Okay, YouTube, let's go ahead and get check on the status of our baked potatoes. All right, go ahead and get my probe, and I'm looking for an internal temperature on a baked potato of about 205 degrees. So let's see where we're at right about now. All right, so it's holding at 187 on that one, excuse me. All right, that one is just about there. All right, oh, I got 205 on that one. All right, so I'm gonna let them go just a few more minutes. What I'm gonna do is go ahead and put on the, so, of the smoking rack and I'm going to go ahead and put the asparagus right here so sorry for the shaky camera work I hope I'm holding it in my hand guy I was rushing and left a tripod in the house but all right and I'm heating up the grill grates to get the steaks ready okay okay YouTube let's go ahead and get these steaks started And as you can see, I got my asparagus on and I'm going to let the potatoes continue to finish cooking. And these are New York strip steaks. Go to put the press on it. Count to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I'm gonna let them go for two minutes and I'll be back. Rotate them.
press again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again for two minutes. All right. All right. I'm going to go ahead and flip them now. And of course, you know what I'm going to do. So no need to repeat and all of that. You'll see the finished product. Alright YouTube, here is the final product of everything. That's the New York Strip Straight Steak done. My bacon wrapped asparagus done. And my baked potato. I added some uh, sour cream, butter, cheese, bacon bits. Listen, my guests are ready to eat. What I probably may do is do a little um, after a review video clip to see what they think about it. So uh, uh, that's how I wrap up. But for now, if you like what you saw, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And be sure to hit that notification bell uh, so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Happy Independence Day to you, and I hope your day is blessed. All right.